Hey there, ha, ah, great to be back with the second installment in my AI content creation series. So in the last one, I talked about using AI to uh, create a content plan. And if you didn't capture, catch, <laughs> catch that one, I've got the link right down below. But today I wanna move on. Um, once you have your content plan, the next step that you're gonna wanna do is write that script. So today we're here to talk about how to make script writing effortless with ChatGPT using my 12X content creation method, okay? So for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna give you just a quick overview of what the 12X content creation method is. And now I've been using this for a long time now, a few years, but we have, and I shouldn't say but, and we have really updated and made this whole process easier now with the advent of ChatGPT. So basically it is, um, in a nutshell, we create a single piece of content and we then add three questions at the end. You'll see me do this at the end of this video where I add three questions. So why do we do that? Because it gives us a month's worth of content in one single video that we can repurpose. So when you're done, you ended up with a long video and then you can cut up the other three questions and you've got four pieces of content that covers you for a whole entire month. And what I found is it used to take me 20 minutes uh, or longer, it just depends on how long the video ends up being. But just to even prep it, it took me 20 to 30 minutes and then another 20 to 30 minutes to uh, create the, um, to actually film it. And now with ChatGPT to create uh, the script, it probably takes me about five minutes to create the script. Um, especially using my plug and play method that I have, um, I'm teaching inside my AI content creation series. Um, and then I just sit down and film it. So really that's probably where the bulk of the time is, but that only the, my last video that I just recorded took me 24 minutes. So, uh, that was a lot longer than it took me to actually come up with the idea and the outline for the script because sometimes when I get into it, I get wordy and I start sharing all kinds of stories. So if you are challenged with creating content um, and you feel like it takes a long time, you're gonna want to stay tuned. And I'm gonna walk you through the 12X content creation more detail here and how we use AI to create that script um, in just a matter of minutes. So this really has freed myself up um, a lot and taken a lot of pressure off of creating content once I started embracing this because I could just have a month's worth of content out of one long piece of content. And what I found also is when I cut up those shorter pieces and I'm answering questions, I can easily repurpose that into shorter videos, podcasts, blog posts, because sometimes your audience just wants to know the answer to those questions. And ChatGPT, when I went in there and just put in a simple prompt around my topic and asked, us, asked it what the questions were, it generated a list of five questions in about less than a minute, okay? So we're gonna dive into all of that and more in this, um, in this, uh, in this today's uh, uh, piece of content, okay? So again, I'm going to show you how easy it is with AI to create a month's worth of content in just minutes. All right, so I've already done, done that brief introduction. Now, for those of you who might be thinking, gosh, do I really want to get into this content creation bandwidth uh, bandwagon? Is it going to be unique? Is it going to capture my voice? The answer is 
Yes, if you use the right prompts and the things that we talked about when we were creating the content plan, all right? So you're gonna wanna go back and watch that video too if you haven't already, because I go through that in detail. But the thing is, is that it really helps to streamline your entire content creation process. Where the unique voice comes in is because we use video, Instead of speaking an entire script that ChatGPT did, there's a couple benefits of this. It um, helps you to be unique in your voice when you're creating a video. Um, it also, when you're just creating an outline, and that's why we want to do a script, you become more confident because you're not reading something, right? So you're not reading something, you're just looking at a script, an outline like I have here in front of me. I might glance at it every single time, but it helps me to be more comfortable and show up really as an expert on my topic. When I use a simple outline, I don't use a teleprompter and I really advise against it, unless you have a really good teleprompter that you wanna use. But I find that when I know my subject and I just go with the flow, there's less flub ups and repeats. And again, I embrace those in flub ups and um, things like that. So, um, you know, those are things which makes content more engaging for your audience when you're not perfect. So let's go into really how this whole process works, okay? So basically I have a content plan that I generated for, um, that, that I'm using and that's what I did in this series. But then with a very, a series of prompts, I asked ChatGPT to write an outline for my script. I love this. I started doing this about a year ago and what I like so much about it is that it used to take me a long time to really sit down and think about what I really wanted to talk about. And with ChatGPT, I let it generate the outline for me and it comes up with ideas that I might not have ever thought about. Now there's sometimes when ChatGPT comes up with ideas that I don't really like, but that gives me the opportunity to put my input in and ask it to come up with better ideas. Or it may come up with one idea and I may say, okay, but how about this idea and that idea? Add those in and rewrite the script, all right? So it probably takes, even with rewrite sometimes, less than five minutes to write a good script outline. Then I just plug it into my plug and play right here, add a few things in, and then I go and do my uh, three questions. So once I have all of that in and I know my topic, I then go and ask ChatGPT to come up with an X number of commonly asked questions. And it gives me a list of those. I might go back and edit them. And then I just add that to my script. It's as simple as that. And all of this probably less than five minutes um, to get it all sorted out, written, and into an outline. Again, the longest part really is in the video when you actually sit down and start talking on the video. That, my last one, took me 24 minutes. Here, um, at this point, I'm already about nine minutes in on this video, but um, that's how simple it is to create your script, effortless script writing. You just have that plan, you take the topic that you've already generated, and then you ask it to come up with an outline, you refine it, then you ask it what are the list of questions on this topic that are commonly asked. You refine that, add it into your uh, 
into your script and you're ready to go with a completed script, all right? So there's a few things that we teach inside of our courses, again, about um, seeding and, mes and, and messaging tips that you're gonna wanna learn that makes your content even more effective and um, engaging for your audience. That you can add, that you can and should add in, like storytelling, um, talking about your programs, things like that. That really gives your content that extra oomph that it needs to engage and interest your audience. Because nobody really wants to listen to somebody sitting here going, "Okay, do this, do that, do this, do that." right? We don't want to sound dry and boring like a textbook. We want to make our content engaging and we want to include storytelling. And let, just like one of my clients, he gets, he's a marriage therapist. Now, while he can't talk about his uh, uh, specific clients, he tells stories that every single week from his practice, um, about somebody that he's working with that had that same problem. And by doing that, he does two things. He makes his content more interesting, he makes it relatable, and he makes it so that he explains how this person who had the same problem as someone who might be listening to the content um, overcome that particular uh problem that they're experiencing, right? So again, you want to add storytelling. And when you do that, you create demand for your content. So that's why we write a script. We don't let ChatGPT to write the entire script because those are the pieces that you need to incorporate in your content. And because he's done this, he gets a ton of views on his content. He gets podcast downloads in the thousands every single month. Same thing with his YouTube views. And people come to him every single day saying, I listen to all your podcasts or I listen to all your videos and I need to work with you. So if you're not doing that in your content, you definitely need to incorporate that. But that's why we only write a script outline because then it gives you the creative ability to go in and speak from your heart, sound more authentic, add in your uh, storytelling, seed your programs, things like that. That's what gives dimension to your content that ChatGPT alone cannot. It captures your voice. That's what makes your content unique, stand out, create demand, engage, and attract a wider audience. So let's go into some of the questions about um, script writing and things like that. Okay, again, one of the top questions is, will AI generated script maintain a natural and engaging to tone? So a lot of people wonder if scripts can capture a conversational engaging tone that feels natural and relatable to their audience. So my answer is, that's why we use a script and we don't ask ChatGPT to write the entire script because nothing can replace our own experiences, our own voice, and things like that. I've used ChatGPT personally to write an entire blog post. And uh, as I shared in the last video, I where I talk about um, creating a content plan, I do not, it came up with something that was very textbooky, even though I used advanced prompts to make it conversational, use different kind of language and things like that, it didn't reflect my voice. So that's why we just ask it to write a script outline, maybe with a few bullet points, change it around, just to kind of give you that little idea of what you need to talk about, okay? So the engaging voice and the uniqueness comes from when you take that script and you just sit down and use it as your guideline to create your or to film your video 
or record your podcast, whatever it is that you're doing, right? Okay. So um, the next question is how original and creative can AI generate a YouTube scripts become B? Well, it's the same thing as I just answered before. It can produce a good script, but again, I infuse my own voice in there. What I love about using chat GPT, whether or not it's for a YouTube script or any kind of script, is it comes up with great ideas in a, the fraction of time it would call, it would take for me to create a an effective script, okay? And it comes up with ideas that I might not have even thought about because I, and, and it also helps you overcome uh, writer's block, right? So I want you to think of AI as your assistant and you can guide it to help you write an effective script that will give you an outline um, that you can then use to create engaging content. So the next question, and we've kind of talked about this again, but the next question is what kind of customization and control do I have over the AI generated script? People want to know about the extent can they uh, customize or modify AI generated scripts. So of course, when I sat down and generated the outline for this script, it wasn't perfect the first time through. So I sometimes will ask it to just regenerate it using the same prompt, or I will go in and I will take some of the ideas out of there and add in some of my own ideas. So that's how I customize it and um, use the script outline. It, it really, again, is looking at AI or ChatGPT as your assistant to really spark ideas, spark creativity, make the whole process easier and faster so that you can get to the filming process in a matter of minutes than taking days upon days to create and type in that little script, read it again, go over it again, things like that. It really speeds up the whole entire process so that you can get to the actual creation that much faster. So that's pretty much it for today about scrap script writing with ChatGPT. I want you to take away that it's a great tool to help you write a general script. It helps you create, come up with ideas that you would not have thought about. It gives you, you have control over changing it and where the uniqueness comes from is when you actually sit down and film your content, which we're going to talk about that coming up soon. Um, but right now we are just focusing today on getting that script, but there's more content coming soon about sitting down and what goes into a good um, filming your content from beginning to end. And that'll be inside the AI content accelerator series, which I've got the link right down below. It's starting on later on this month and you can go check it out there. See if you want to join us. And for those of you who are ready to unleash the power of AI and use it to help you create content that is engaging, and uh, unique and helps you nail down that process to make it that much faster. I've got the AI content creators roadmap right down below um, and you can use it to, I show you exactly all the pieces in more detail uh, that I talk about here, the fundamentals. I'm big on making AI uh, or making my content using AI to get me faster to the creation process where I can infuse it with my own unique voice. So if that's something you want to master, you'll definitely want to download that guide and look into joining us for the AI content creator series. So I'll see you in the next, uh, next time where I'm going to be talking about how to repurpose your content using the AI uh, or with AI using the 12X content 
maximize your system. Um, and then if you haven't watched the other one where I talk about using the AI content, AI to create a content plan, I got that link right down in the notes for you as well. And I will see you soon.